it's one of those, did I really see that, TV moments. In season 8, episode 3 of Game of Thrones, we see Arya jumping towards the Night King and stabbing him in the heart with a Valerian steel dagger. Showrunners David Benioff and D.B. Weiss claim that they have known for years that she would be the one to kill the Night King. But you might not have spotted all the clues that they put in other episodes. We're going to break it down for you. Right from the start in Season 1, Episode 1, Arya is introduced to us as a force to be reckoned with. While her brother Bran is set up to not be a great warrior, Arya comes in with a sneak attack and hits the target. Season 1, Episode 2, Arya is bestowed with her first weapon, Needle, by Jon. Jon advises, Stick him with the pointy end. This line is repeated in The Long Night. Stick him with the pointy end. Arya's teacher after Jon was Sirio Pharrell, who taught her to be fast, coining the phrase, what do we say to the god of death, not today, which again was repeated in The Long Night. Ironically, in her first lesson with him, he throws a sword towards her, which he fails to catch. Tomorrow you will catch it. The cat's paw dagger's journey through the seasons is actually a clue in itself. It makes an early appearance in season one. A mysterious assassin tries to murder Bran with it, but Catelyn Stark protects him, so Catelyn takes it to King's Landing, where she shows it to Littlefinger. He frames Tyrion, which then turns into the War of the Five Kings. Ned Stark has it, then loses it to Littlefinger when he betrays him, leading to Ned Stark's death, which then sends Arya on her long journey to becoming a badass assassin, only for Littlefinger to give it back to Bran at the same location it was first introduced. This is for you. In Season 7, Episode 1, that exact dagger shows up in one of the books that Sam is reading in the Citadel in Old Town to find out how to defeat the Army of the Dead and the Night King. Melisandre meets Arya in Season 3, Episode 6, telling her, I see a darkness in you. And in that darkness, eyes staring back at me. Brown eyes, blue eyes, green eyes. Eyes you'll shut forever. This is the prompt Melisandre used again in Season 8, Episode 3 to send her over to the Weirwood Tree. In Season 4, Arya picks up a few tips from the Hound. In their travels across Westeros, he teaches her to look for weak spots in armour, and also how to stab someone in the heart. In Season 6, Episode 5, Bran has a vision where he experiences the creation of the Night King by the Children of the Forest. What we now know is the Night King gets stabbed in the chest by a dragonglass dagger. It's under a similar looking weirwood tree that he would meet his demise, again being pierced in the chest. In Season 8, Episode 1, Arya sneaks up on Jon Snow in exactly the same place where she kills the Night King. He says, How did you sneak up on me? In Season 7, Episode 4, Bran gives Arya the dagger that he in turn was given by Littlefinger. The Littlefinger scene had seemed a bit random at the time, and he turns it over to her saying, I don't want it. It's a testament to Isaac William Hempstead's portrayal of Bran that without realising its significance, he has a wistful and kind of knowing look on his face, as if giving the dagger some significance. Once Bran gives the dagger to Arya, it's extremely visible on her belt throughout the next episodes. She then uses it in a sparring match with Brienne, using the same drop move that she did with the Night King. Characters die protecting Arya, almost as if saving her life is the main objective, Sir Beric Dondarrion and Sirio Farrell. Then we come to Season 8, Episode 3 itself. The Hound has a seemingly distracting breakdown during the episode, saying to Sir Beric, We're fighting death! I can't beat death. His reply is to point to Arya and say, Tell her that. Arya also repeats moves during the episodes that we've seen her do in previous fights. Her first encounter with a white mimics her Season 6 training with the Faceless Men, stopping the staff in the same position. It should have been obvious that Arya was being built up for something special. Throughout the show, she's gone through a lot of training. It was never really clear what this training would be for, other than killing people on her list. We now know that it was to save the Seven Kingdoms from its most dangerous adversary. Did you spot any other clues that we missed? Comment below.